When that NASCAR drives into the pits, everybody knows what he's doing. Uh, tips on going on a blind date. This is Dr. Paul, author of Boomer Girls, A Boomer Woman's Guide to Men and Dating, and host of Ask Dr. Paul. Well, why did I mention the NASCAR crew? Because they have their specific jobs in mind. And one of the tips I can give you on going on a blind date, whether you're male or female, is to know exactly what you have as alternative plans on that blind date. I have at least three plans, okay? Like they're changing four tires, you have four changes that you can make, three with a possible option. And then that may include lunch, it may include a dinner if it's worthwhile. You can plan as you go. That's how I would recommend any blind date that you're involved with. Plan as you go. A blind date means you haven't seen this person before. You don't know anything about them. You only know that a friend of yours has referred you to this person. You trust your friend and therefore you've gone on this date. If you're a man, it's the same as if you're a woman. You have an unknown and you need to have a plan. And that tip that I can give you is to have four possible solutions. Three with an alternative. You might need only two, but I would have four. Three and an alternative. And each one of them you can set up with a time frame in mind because you may want it long, you may want it short, but you want to make certain that you are planning on where and how you're going to do what. This is Dr. Paul. May your fantasies of today be your realities of tomorrow.